6 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असल दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय हसन गिलानी फर्स्ट द हेडलाइंस फेडरल गवर्नमेंट हैज एक्सप्रेस विलिंगनेस फॉर अनकंडीशनल एंड सीरियस टॉक्स विद पाकिस्तान तहरीक इंसाफ टू ब्रिंग पोलिटिकल स्टेबिलिटी इन द कंट्री फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर से इस पाकिस्तान अटैच इज ग्रेट इंपॉर्टेंस टू स्ट्रेंथन एंड एनहेंस कोऑपरेशन विद उजबेकिस्तान इन डाइवर्स फील्ड Special representative of Pakistan for Afghanistan says all necessary resources will be provided to further enhance security of diplomats in Kabul. UN Security Council and United States have strongly condemned terrorist attack on Pakistan embassy in Kabul. All parties Hurriyat conference has urged the international community to take cognizance of Indian government's inhuman acts of disabling Kashmiris under a systematic torture mechanism in illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. On the third day of first cricket test against England, Pakistan in their first innings were 499 for 7 at stumps today. And now the news in detail. The federal government has expressed willingness to hold unconditional and serious talks with Pakistan Tehreek-e-Insaf to bring political stability in the country. This was stated by Minister for Interior Rana Sanaullah along with Minister for Railways Khwaja Saad Rafiq while speaking at a news conference in Lahore today. He said coalition government will not accept conditional dialogue offer and PTI chairman should come forward for unconditional serious dialogue and stop giving threat. The interior minister said PTI and Imran Khan will face the consequences if they resorted to dissolve the provincial assemblies of Punjab and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Speaking on the occasion Railways Minister Khwaja Saad Rafiq said the country needs political stability for economic stability. Khwaja Saad Rafiq said general elections will be held at its stipulated time. He said dialogue and intimidating cannot move together and economic stability is linked with political stability of the country. Minister for Climate Change Senator Shari Rahman says political parties and the nation have made sacrifices for the restoration of the constitution and parliamentary democracy in the country. In a series of tweets she said PTI chairman Imran Khan and his party have always railed against parliamentary democracy. Senator Shari Rahman also criticized and condemned Imran Khan for his anti-parliamentary democracy remarks. Finance Minister Senator Mohammad Isaq Dar says Pakistan attaches great importance to strengthen bilateral relations to enhance cooperation in multiple sectors with Uzbekistan. Talking to Uzbek ambassador to Pakistan, Oybek Usmanov in Islamabad today, he apprised the Uzbek ambassador about the potential investment avenues in Pakistan. The finance minister welcomed the ambassador and highlighted profound fraternal relations and deep-rooted cultural and historical linkages between Pakistan and Uzbekistan. Isagdar also extended full support to enhance bilateral relations between both the countries in various sectors. On the occasion, the Uzbek ambassador shared his government's keen interest to enhance relations with Pakistan on multiple fronts through enhancement of trade, investment and business. He also invited the finance minister on behalf of his government to visit Tashkent in January 2023 for co-chairing the joint ministerial meeting. Minister for Climate Change Senator Shari Rahman has urged the development sector and partners to enhance projects and resources on climate change adaptation and mitigation. She was addressing the International Summit on Higher Education and Workforce Development in the 21st Century organized by USAID's Higher Education System Strengthening Activity in Islamabad. The minister underlines the need to convene such forums frequently to work on climate mitigation and adaptation models. Chief of the Naval Staff Admiral Mohammad Ajmal Amjad Khan Niazi visited Turkey, Germany and Azerbaijan and called on military and naval leadership of the host countries. According to a press release during the meetings matters of bilateral naval collaboration and regional maritime security were deliberated. The visit of the naval chief is expected to augment and expand defense ties with these countries in general and armed forces in particular. This is Radio Pakistan. 
Pakistan Special Representative for Afghanistan Mohammad Sadiq says all necessary resources will be provided to further enhance security of diplomats in Kabul. In a series of tweets today he said our diplomats will continue to discharge their duties effectively in the most important foreign capital for Pakistan. He said Afghan interim government will need to beef up security of our embassy and its personnel. Mohammad Sadiq also paid tribute to Sipoy Israr Mohammad who took bullets on his chest to protect the ambassador. The UN Security Council has strongly condemned the terrorist attack on Pakistani embassy in Kabul. In a statement, UN Security Council called for ensuring the safety of diplomatic and consular premises and underscored the need for bringing the perpetrators of the attack to justice. It also wished a speedy and full recovery to the security guard who was injured in the reprehensible attack. The United States has condemned the attack on Pakistani embassy in Kabul targeting its head of the mission Ubaid Nizamani and called for a full and transparent investigation. Speaking at a daily press briefing, US State Department spokesperson Ned Price offered sympathies and wished a quick recovery to those affected by the violence. He also expressed deep concern over the attack on Pakistani diplomat. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the brutal torture methods employed by Indian troops like the firing of pellets on peaceful protesters have rendered thousands of Kashmiris disabled for life, including over 200 losing eyesight in one or both eyes. A report released by Kashmir Media Service on the occasion of the International Day of Persons with Disabilities Today said, among the most brutal tactics used by Indian troops to disable the Kashmiris include firing of bullets, pellets and tear gas shells during anti-India demonstrations. All parties Huryat conference leaders including Zamruda Habib, Yasmin Raja, Farida Behanji, Dr. Musaib, Chaudhary Shaheen Iqbal, Kulam Nabiwar, Hakim Abdul Rashid and Muhammad Akib in their statements urged the international community to take cognizance of the Indian government's inhuman act of disabling Kashmiris under a systematic torture mechanism in IIOJK. Meanwhile, the New Delhi controlled state investigative agency raided the ancestral house of APHC AJK leader Altaf Hussain Wani in Litharwan area of Kupwara district and took away mobile phones of his father Sanawallah Wani and other family members. The SIA sleuths along with Indian paramilitary and police personnel also conducted raids at houses of Huryat activists at multiple locations in Srinagar, Badgam, Paramula and Bandipura districts, subjecting the inmates, including women and children, to severe harassment. The USCIRF chair, Nuri Turkel, in a statement said that there was no justification for the State Department's failure to recognize India as a religious violator of religious freedom as it clearly meets the legal standards for designation as CPCs. The US Commission's observation was vindicated by the data released by New Delhi-based United Christian Forum, showing that the the violence against Indian Christians has been at all-time high this year as 511 number of hate crimes against the community have been recorded so far. On the third day of the first cricket test against England, Pakistan in their first innings were 499 for 7 at stumps today. For Pakistani, Babar Azam with 136, Imam al Haq 121, and Abdullah Shafiq with 114 were the main scorers. Zahid Mahmood had scored one run, while Aga Salman with 10 runs were on the crease at close of the play. Earlier, England had scored 657 all out in their first innings. In the FIFA World Cup 2022 in Qatar, Netherlands will play against US today at 8 pm Pakistan Standard Time. And finally, the weather. Cold and dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 12 hours. However, partly cloudy weather is likely in Kilgit Baltistan and Upper Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Foggy conditions are likely over plain areas of Punjab during night and morning hours. And now the headlines once again. Federal government has expressed willingness for unconditional and serious talks with Pakistan Tehreek and Saf to bring political stability in the country. Finance Minister says Pakistan attaches great importance to strengthen and enhance cooperation with Uzbekistan in diverse fields. Special representative of Pakistan for Afghanistan says all necessary resources will be provided to further enhance security of diplomats in Kabul. 
And this is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com slash radio Pakistan news official.